Hello math learners! In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving conversion of units of measurement. So now, let's begin! These are the steps in solving problems involving conversion of units. We have Step 1. Convert the unit to the desired unit. The given measurements should have the same units. Step 2. Find the appropriate conversion factor to be used. Step 3. Write the conversion as a fraction. Make sure that the unit in the numerator is a desired unit of measurement. Step 4. Multiply the given measurement to the conversion factor. Step 5. Cancel units that appear on top and bottom. And the last step, step 6, answer the problem. Now, let's have examples and apply these steps. Example number 1. Bea has a 2-liter bottle of juice. How many glasses can it fill with 210 milliliters of juice? So, let's solve this problem using the steps. We have here our solution. And again, step 1 is we need to convert the unit to the desired unit. And we need to make sure that the measurements should have the same units. As you can see, what is asked is in milliliters. So that means we will convert liters to milliliters. So that will be step 1 is to convert 2 liters to milliliters. And that is a metric to metric conversion. Next, step 2. Step 2 is we need to find the appropriate conversion factor to be used. And again, this is liter to milliliter, so that is a volume measurement. So, we will use this conversion table, table metric to metric of volume measurements. So, we need to find liters to milliliters. And we have here, 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. So, that means our conversion factor is 1 liter equals 1,000 milliliters. Step 3. We need to write the conversion as a fraction. And we need to make sure that the unit in the numerator is our desired unit. And again, our desired unit is in milliliters. So that means we will write 1,000 milliliters in our numerator. So that will be... 1,000 milliliters over 1 liter. Next, step 4 is we need to multiply the given measurement to the conversion factor. So that will be 2 liters times 1,000 milliliter over 1 liter. Now, since this is a whole number and a fraction, we need to make 2 liters into a fraction form. So, we will put 1 in the denominator. Now, let's multiply the two fractions. Multiply the numerators. 2 times 1,000 is equal to 2,000. Next, just copy the units. Liter, milliliter over 1 times 1 and copy liter. Next step is step 5. Step 5 is we need to cancel the units that appear on top and bottom. So that means we will copy what's in step 4. So we have 2000 liter milliliter over 1 liter. So, cancel the same units, liter. And this is equal to 2,000, the remaining unit, milliliter, over 1. And to simplify this, 
since our denominator is 1, this is just equal to 2,000 milliliter. And for the last step, step 6, is we need to solve or answer the problem. What is asked is how many glasses can it fill with 210 milliliters of juice? To solve this, we just need to divide 2,000 milliliters by 210 milliliters. And that would be 2,000 milliliters divided by 210 milliliters. Cancel the same units and this is just equal to 2,000 divided by 210 is 9.52 Now, since we are talking about glasses, our answer should be a whole number. Thus, Bea can fill 9 glasses with juice. Now let's have our second example. A female's brain weighs approximately 1.25 kilograms and a male's brain 1.5 kilograms. About how many grams heavier is a male's brain to a woman's brain? Solution Step 1. Convert the unit to the desired unit. The given measurements should have the same units. Okay, so since 1.25 kilograms and 1.5 kilograms are asked to be converted into grams, so that means convert 1.25 kilograms and 1.5 kilograms to grams. And this is a metric to metric conversion. Step 2. We need to find the appropriate conversion factor to be used. So we will look at our conversion table about weight measurements and metric to metric. So let's find kilograms to grams. We have here 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. So that means our conversion factor would be 1 kilogram equals 1,000 grams. Next, step 3. Step 3 is we need to write our conversion factor as a fraction. And we need to make sure that the unit in our numerator is our desired unit, which is grams. So that means 1,000 grams will be our numerator and 1 kilogram will be our denominator. Step 4. Multiply the given measurement to the conversion factor. So that means our given measurements, 1.25 kilogram multiply to 1,000 grams over 1 kilogram. So we will make this a fraction, so put 1 in the denominator, and let's multiply. Multiply the numerators, 1.25 kilograms times 1,000 grams is equal to 1,250, copy the units, kilograms and grams, over, multiply the denominators, 1 times 1 is just 1. Copy kilograms. Next, we have here the 1.5 kilograms. So let's convert or let's multiply this to the conversion factor. 1.5 kilograms times 1,000 grams over 1 kilogram. So we will put 1 in the denominator, then multiply the numerators. 1.5 times 1,000 is equal to 1,500. Copy the units, kilograms, and then grams. Over, 1 times 1 is 1. Copy kilograms. Now, 
Step 5. Step 5 is to cancel the units that appear on top and bottom. So, that would be, we need to copy 1,250 kilograms grams over 1 kilogram. And the second one, 1,500 kilograms grams over 1 kilogram. Let's solve first this one. So, cancel kilograms. This is just equal to 1,250 grams over 1 or equal to 1,250 grams. Well, this one cancel kilograms and this is equal to 1,500 grams over 1 or just equal to 1,500 grams. And we are done with step 5. Step 6. Step 6 is we need to answer the problem. The question is about how many grams heavier is a male's brain to a woman's brain. To solve this, we just need to subtract one two hundred. Uh, I mean, one thousand two hundred fifty grams from one thousand five hundred grams. So let's subtract one thousand five hundred grams minus one thousand two hundred fifty grams is just equal to two hundred fifty grams. Thus. A male's brain is 250 grams heavier than a female's brain. And we are done. We just solved the problem. That's it for this video, my math learners. Again, always remember the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Goodbye and see you next time.